some baking, some light kitchen work, feeling a little bit more low today, um, on the tail end of a cold, and we just got back from Cape Breton, which was really nice, but also very tired, and that combination of like, uh, so <laughs> coming back to myself, trying to feel a little bit more encouraged and positive, so I'm going to throw on a podcast while I do this, and just try and get into it, finish some stuff, get some stuff started. Spring, it's hopeful. I'll show you around. We got some fun garden stuff going on, some beans growing behind you, some projects. I'm working on a sweater, knitting a sweater, a sweater out of a blanket. Let's go, let's take you around. <laughs> All right, so coming up here, little Connor has been starting these, most of these, so these are some beans. We have a few more up here, which are herbs. They're just starting. And then, oh yes, <laughs> we went to build a and this has been a project I've been wanting to do slash started. <laughs> Poorly painting the build a -Bear box. And then this is the sweater coat that I'm working on that is from a blanket from Value Village. And I'm working on a full video for that, which will be coming at some point. So it's in a best form right now. And I changed the pattern a bit, so I'm gonna get pockets and like try and put pockets down here. And then I have to sew the sleeves on. But yeah, it's, it's funky, it's kind of cool. We'll see how it works. I have another blanket from Value Village that I wanna try. If this doesn't work, slash even if it does, I kind of want to try it. And it's just like a different, it's cool. It's like in a safari, there's like zebras, different animals on it. This is basically my chaotic craft corner. <laughs> Which like one day I will organize. I say I'm going to organize it every day and then I just keep crafting and don't, but it's like kind of getting out of hand. <laughs> Starting to look at recipes, going to try and make some English muffins, the dough at least this morning, and then likely make the English muffins tomorrow. And then these bad guys, these are cucumbers, a lot of cucumbers here coming in. And then these are peppers, these two, and then those are tomatoes, these guys here. Um, I should rotate them. Growing.
Is that you? Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome guy. You want to see it in the fridge? You do? Okay. <laughs> Why's that right here? Why's that right here, buddy? Do 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 It's boo 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 These are great. Love these. <laughs> Boop loves these. He loves the yogurts. <laughs> Those are his favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, these are freaking amazing. They're also made in Halifax, which is pretty sweet. Um, which is like an hour away, so that's cool. Main Canada, organic, plant-based, full meal replacement, and it doesn't taste like chalky or like weird. Um, <laughs> it's great. Unlike when my stomach just like does not feel well, I can like kind of sip one of those and I'm like still getting some. Like a, it's a full meal, really. Um, great. I love this mod mug. You don't know Maude Luce. She's a Nova, was a Nova Scotia artist, painter, beautifully tragic. Also, her story was beautiful and it was also tragic. Okay, we're back. It is the next day, Saturday. Yesterday I just ended up kind of finishing up things up and dough and then just kept chilling, finished up, just like putting away laundry and really just like took it easy, emailed my brother, just like, yeah, journaled, felt some things. Um, and yeah, now we're back, it's the next day, Saturday morning. Um, we just got back from running some errands, just went to the thrift store, the garden center, <laughs> um, PetSmart. <clears throat> we're gonna groom our cat this weekend because we got a detachable shower head, so now we can like actually bathe them. And he's like, he's very hairy. He's a main, a main, a main coon. Um, so he just like has a lot of fur. So we're just gonna try and clean him up, get him ready for summer. And then we can start taking him on walks. And then we can just see if there's like ticks or anything. Cause we live in a very bad tick area. Um, so it's good to see. <laughs> um, so yeah, back today, Saturday. We are making croissants today. I'm excited. We're gonna bake them off tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna bake the English muffin dough here shortly. Um, have another load of laundry going, the stuff from the thrift store. <laughs> and then I guess other than that, we're probably just gonna take it easy. We might go down into town, just go for a walk, um, grab a drink. It's like 20 degrees out and sunny. So perfect. It's the nicest weather we've had in a while. Um, yeah, so stay tuned if you want to watch some of that, um, and if you want to see the croissants, I'll bake those tomorrow and I will show you those. Also do some lunch prep and stuff, probably just like classic pasta salad for lunch, because delicious, easy, versatile. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Ooh, I'm gonna try and make, got lemonade, <laughs> lemonade. I got lemonade yesterday and I've been drinking a lot of matcha recently and I want to try and make the Starbucks matcha lemonade because I love it, but it's, my budget doesn't. So <laughs> we're gonna make it at home. Let's do it. I forgot to start filming, so we're here. <laughs> Hi buddy. All right, so I have all of the English muffins all weighed out ready and I'm just going to shape them and let them rise there for like 20 minutes and then I'll start frying them slash just like grilling them in the cast iron and then it should be time to do the next fold for the croissants so that's what's up
this like chocolate mousse. I'm just gonna make this like chocolate mousse thing with coconut cream. We made it last week and it was delicious. So we got a different brand of coconut cream just to test it out. This one was on sale. Originally more expensive, but this time it was cheaper. So exciting. I'll show you that. Um, English muffins are in. I think croissants almost time to transfer. They're in the freezer right now, and then I'll put them in the fridge and then do one more. It's the third fold, and then back in the freezer, and then the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow I'll form and bake the croissants. So that's exciting. Yeah. I'm just kind of, I don't know why I'm in this mood, but I'm enjoying this, so I'm just gonna roll with it. To the pancakes! All right, good morning. We are back. It is Sunday morning now, and I am preparing to roll and shape the croissants, and then we will proof them and then bake them. So let's roll. We got Boop here lounging. Hi, buddy. Making some coffee. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Alright, so I'm just preparing the oven now. So I'm gonna get this almost boiling and then put the light on. Gross. I'm just gonna put the simmering pot on the bottom and then we'll have two pans of croissants able to rise and then it'll be like a steamy hot environment. And I guess you don't want it too hot that it'll like 
melt the butter. So they suggest just turning your oven light on or just like turning it on for a bit and then turning it off. So we'll see. That one looks pretty good. Those are done proofing. Some butter leaked out on those top ones. I think it's from the light. Um, just gonna put them in the fridge now and preheat the oven and then do a little egg wash when we're in. <laughs> I will wait for those while the croissants bake. I think I'll do like just like a little stretch workout thing and then when those are done baking, if it's not raining yet, I think I'll go for a walk and then shower and then I can just do like laundry and like finish up lunches and stuff like that for this week. And then make a gentle plan for the week. Just like to know like what I have to do each day. And then what else am I gonna do today? I just wanna chill. I wanna watch some movies, I think. Um, eat some croissants. Ooh, I wanna make a fun. We went thrifting yesterday. Um, and I got a few new pairs of pants, like just like not jeans and not like dress pants, but like linen slash like cotton pants that just like comfy, but also cute for spring. Like I got a yellow pair and then green. They're like 10 bucks, so yeah. Um, and they seem brand new. So I'm gonna try and make some fun outfits there and make just like a fun reel because I like doing those. Um, so yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. It might be here or on my Instagram. Find that here. All right, the oven's preheated. Let's do the side wash and get those in the oven. Okay. I'm impressed with myself. This may be the best ones I've done. I mean, it's the second time I've done it. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if it works. Butter leaked out of the other ones. That one's a little, little chunky. So, fingers crossed. ones they leaked out like as soon as I put them in the oven so I think it was just because they were on the top and it was like hotter so lesson learned those ones are a bit bigger I'm 
just gonna set a timer for like 10 minutes so I can flip them. groceries or something it is not fun <laughs> um, but yeah I digress grateful back from the walk out of breath heads hurting a little bit going to take a shower now and then yeah get to lunch prep outfit prep and chilling Thank you. 